all right, Pyramids of Mars, a few people recommended to watch this before Empire of Death, and pretty good idea to do that, so uh, yeah, let's get on with it. It feels weird watching Classic Who in colour. It's been a while. Perfect. This too must date back to the first dynasty of the pharaohs. The Eye of Horus. All right, the doctor's here. Hey, doctor! Doctor! Sarah Jane, nice to see her again. You should be glad to be going home. The Earth isn't my home, Sarah. I'm a Time Lord. I'm not a human being. That time I found something better to do than run round after the Brigadier. You can always resign! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sue Tech. What was it? It was a terrible face just for a second, then it was gone. Yeah. Nothing can enter the TARDIS unless mental projection of that force is beyond imagination. It was totally malevolent. We've landed. Where have we landed? Some vast impulse of energy has drawn the TARDIS, of course. The unit house was built on the site. Get out! Dare you disturb me? Get out at once! Don't blame Collins. I have a few questions. Belong to Marie Antoinette. Lost her head, poor thing. I like his voice. Get in here. Through the window. What are you afraid of? If you were to find me along here, let alone you two, he'd, he'd go stark raving mad, sir. There are ancient powers gathering in this place. What the devil? What the hell? <laughs> Fool! He's been strangled. The gods have returned. The High One himself will come among us. This is how it was written. You must be the second unbeliever to die. Ah! Nice to see the guns again in Classic Who. I really like the vibe of this story. I mean, you've got that sort of ancient feel, but it's also, it also has like a gothic feel to it. I'm sitting ducks if we stay here. Get to the lodge. Oh, find the lodge. It's like watching a fan film. <laughs> it's always in the woods or the forest. The all powerful descends. Your servant hears you. You'd better get him back to the lodge. The FPS is very high, or a lot higher than <laughs> than what Classic Who has been before. Unless it always was like this, and I just didn't notice. I'm going to fetch the police. No, much too grave a matter for the police. Something's interfering with time. Who are you? Well, I'm Sarah Jane Smith. I'm a journalist. Journalist? Uh -huh. It's so cool to see her again. Who is your companion? It's just a doctor. We travel in time, Mr. Scarman. I'm really from 1980. Utterly preposterous, Miss Smith. What year is this? Are you telling me you don't know what, what if I knew? I wouldn't ask. Don't be obtuse, man. 1911. <laughs> One of my favourites. I have the advantage of being slightly ahead of you. Sometimes behind you, but normally ahead of you. His voice is so cool. Oh god, there's three of them now. Beware Sutek. Of course, Egyptian mythology is killed by Horus, god of light. The world is facing the greatest peril in its history. <laughs> I feel like this guy is gonna die. We have guarded the secret of your tomb. Stand. Is this the face of Sutek? Spare me. I am the servant of Sutek. He needs no other. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> die. <laughs> Bring Sutek's gift of death. To all ah, cool. They said that in the uh, new episode. Oh shit! Marcus. Looks like a uh, Tarkin. Activate at ground strength. Quick, hide. Sutek is breaking free from his ancient bonds. If he succeeds, he'll destroy the whole world. Horus and the rest of your sirens must have finally cornered him on Earth. That's just a sarcophagus. It's the entrance to a time-space tunnel. To Sutek. Doctor! Get back! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Huh. Marcus, my dear fellow, you're back. Don't you recognize me? I came to find the other Scarman. You mean your brother, Lawrence? Now look here, Marcus. All humans inside the defection barrier will be destroyed. No! 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 Murdering swine. Sutek is controlling operations here by mental force. I could transmit a jamming signal. Huh. All right, all clear. Where are we going? To find that Egyptian. They must be building a rocket. Where's Sutek now? Exactly where Horus left him. Trapped beneath a pyramid and powerless to move. Great heavens. Huh. This is unbelievable. You're going to say it transcends all the... It's, it's always cool to see characters go inside the TARDIS and see their reaction. Well, now we are here, why don't you tune up 1980 and we can leave? I can't. Because if Sutek isn't stopped, he'll destroy the world. I mean, we know the world didn't end in 1911. Do we? Let's see what the world will look like in 1980. 1980, Sarah, if you want to get off. This is like the episode in the new season. It was in uh, The Devil's Chord. It's a trick! That's the world as Sutek would leave it. I can't be! I'm from 1980. You've looked into alternative time. Do you mean the future can be chosen? Not chosen, shaped. Got to go back. Yes. This scene just saved this episode for me because I. <laughs> this episode's been pretty stale for me. It's been hide and seek basically, and that scene saved it. I really like that a lot. There are others. Eliminate them. Your orders will be executed, Sutek. Why didn't Horus and the other Asylums destroy him? Children him would have meant that they were no better than he, so they simply imprisoned him. What is that? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> like a threesome. Quick, Sarah, switch on the power. No! Stop them! Return to control! Return to control! You need to get us all killed! I'm sorry! No, forgive me, Doctor. I, I was thinking of my brother. Listen! Fuck your brother. Oh my god. Keeps thinking about him. It's annoying now. Stop. Animated by Sutek. Do you understand? Stay here. My freedom comes before all. Kill the humans. So it shall be. Almost complete by the look of it. If you want to help, start getting the bindings off that robot. The barrier to the east has been deactivated. I shall not be denied now. We'll seek out and destroy my enemies. The alien who dares to intrude. Sutek looks Humans. really cool. All life shall perish under the reign of Sutek the Destroyer. Yeah, he looks really cool. Oh, well done, Mr. Scarman. Mr. Scarman? <gasps> His late brother must have called. Just like tosses the body over. <laughs> oh, sometimes you don't seem human. A man has just been murdered. Five. And then maybe the first of millions, unless Sutek is stopped. We're going to have to move quickly. I'll need your help. The task is almost completed, Master. The coordinates for the Pyramid of Mars. I will release them. It is to be placed in the projection dome monitor. No, I hit it. Oh, fuck. Sutek is containing the explosion. Oh, it's him. <laughs> I thought it was one of the other ones. Got to get to him. Break his concentration. All I see is Stampy <laughs> whenever I look at him. Sutek, last of the Osirens. Oh, shit. Cool. Identify yourself, plaything of Sutek. I'm a traveler. From where? Gallifrey. You are a time lord. I renounce the society of time lords. Now I'm simply a traveler. <laughs> what are you called, time lord? Doctor. I offer you an alliance, doctor. Oh. Serve me, and an empire can be yours. Your name is abominated in every civilized world. Serve me, doctor. Never! <laughs> 
Kneel, you groveling insect. Keep the human alive, scum. As you command, great one. That was the softest fall I've ever seen. The human girl it travels with you. You can do that by mental force, Sutek, then nothing can be beyond you. You are a twisted abhorrence. My enemies have brought the means of my deliverance. TARDIS key. Travel to the Pyramid of Mars. The controls of a TARDIS are isomorphic. They answer to you alone. Yes. My mind is in yours. Huh. Master. I like how they did that, with it going silent. He is possessed by the Great One. Sutek has no further need for the Time Lord. Come. You're soaking my shirt. You're alive! Where are we? Pyramid of Mars. Scum must be stopped. I sense danger. There. Now. Stand back and scan. Think you can confound Sutek with these childish stratagems? <laughs> that was cool. I needed that as well because I'm really bored. Keep calm! Make the sign of the eyes, Garmin. His screen looks like the type of screen you have on an aeroplane. You face the twin guardians of Horus. The two switches control your fate. Which is the guardian of life? Which switch would he indicate? I see. Trying to mislead me, so that must still be the death switch. This has to be the one we want. Come on, come on. Eye of Horus, destroy. Destroy. Free. I'm free. is lifted. I shall crush this miserable world. I can move again. Here he comes. You're caught in a temporal trap, Sutek. I shall destroy you. Release me! The time of your silence is long past. No! Just did a Darth Vader. Sutek is dead. He could never have reached the end. So the Eye of Horus was still holding Sutek for two minutes after it was broken. Yes. <laughs> Doctor! That was careless of me. Perhaps it is time we were leaving. Alright, so that story didn't work for me. As much as I think Sutek looks cool, I don't really see why he's come back. I feel like for his character is good as just a one-off story character. Really do not see why this is a character you want to bring back. Not only bring back, but also have them be like the finale villain. Now that being said, I really enjoyed the Legend of Ruby Sunday, so maybe I'll like Sue Tech's story in the new season more. But after watching this story, I really don't know why this is a character you want to bring back. Now, there was a bunch of stuff that I liked. I liked them going back to 1980 to show the consequences of what happens if they just leave and let Sue Tech do whatever he wants. And I like just showing the consequences because, I mean, it's time travel, you can do that. I like the scene where they find one of the dead people. There's this like little conversation between the Doctor and Sarah Jane and how he just sort of like just sort of dismisses the fact that someone's died and he's you know talking about how he's not human and I like that a lot. And there was a bunch of other stuff that I liked. Wherever I said in my reaction that I liked, I liked that also. Sutek, I think as I mentioned before, Sutek, I like I think he's really cool. And that's really it. Um I thought the mummies were kind of 
jarring to watch how slow they walked. I think one episode was literally just hide and seek. I think it was episode two. There was a bunch of scenes that were just really hard to get through. Episode four was hard to get through as well. So yeah, there was like this stuff that I really liked. Mostly it was it was very meh and very hard to get through. I'm gonna say mid. But if I had to choose whether I like it or not, I'm gonna go more towards not liking this story. So yeah, <laughs> that's my thoughts on pyramids of mars now i can't say i can't wait to see Sutek again because i don't really feel like wanting to see him again but i'm interested to see how he's gonna be in new who and and uh yeah hopefully i like him a lot more in the new season can't wait to watch empire of death